watu wengi tunafanya mambo ili tufurahishe watu. Ukitaka ku survive in life, you have to ask yourself, where are you going and where are you coming from? That is the determining factor and driving forces, a driving purpose ya life yako. Umetoka wapi na unaenda wapi? Ama unaenda wapi na umetoka wapi? Muchugage sana sana katika hatima yenu. Kuna mabo yako na mabo yenu. There is our life and my life. Are you together? So you must understand you pay the cost to be in that house. To make your family. Because maybe you are alone. Don't hate even if they are not agreeing with you. Try to shape your destiny. Try to shape your calling. Try to shape your ambitions. Are you together? So, siku ya leo, hata hapa kanisa umejileta peke yako. La kama mulikuja kama ushirika, mulipangana aje. Mulikuja kwa nini? Kuna mtu walikuja hapa, afuate mungu. Wewe, ulikuja kufanya nini? Ulitoka wapi na ni wapi unaenda. Hii gali umeenda, umepanda. Inaenda kule uliku unaenda. Kama hayedo, chomoka. Don't waste, don't waste time in matato that are not going to your destiny. Hallelujah. Are you going to change for good? Don't change for bad. People might fight you. People might distract you. People might dis- disgrace you. Even u change, but that ukue mtu mzuri. Protect your ego and your body. And know your direction. Sickness itakuja. Magojo itakutadika. Mpaka ukate tama. Ata ikuje. Magojo megi likuwa na paoro. Anania. Na ili haiku kosa kuedelea. So shukweni change for the best. Bwana kawabariki. Nata kukuliza saa hizi. Uko kanisani. Nita kukuja kwa episode bili. Kuna mambo watu wanabadilika dhambi. You know, asina akona rumu ya, ya change. To be transformed and to be transfigurated. Are you together? To be transformed and to be... That is transfiguration. Are you together? Number one, mana mana hatu ogeagi mabaya transfiguration. Tuna ogeaga mabaya transformation. So, kabla tuigia kwa transfiguration, ebu tuogea mabaya transformed. What is the transfiguration? Transfiguration ni instant change. So, mungu hatakagi kutupatia transfiguration, the instant change hatakagi. Anataka, we grow, we change gradually. Step by step. That is what we call growth. And God huaga anagojea the growth of personality, the growth of your life. Now, the growth is achievement and a success. Now, kutoka saizi, ninasima uwezabu tagu igie diet ama uokovu umebadilika. Umecheji aje. Are you changing for good or for bad? Na hapa dipo, Bible inasema ya kuamba, Ephesians 4.22, Amen. Vue kwa habari ya mwenendo wa kwanza utu wa zamani unaoharibika kwa kuzi, kuzifuata tamaa zenye kudanganya. Bible inasema ya kwamba ufue utu wa kare. Listen very careful. Kuna mtu ako hapa anasuburiwa na mabaya kare. Hata ujaribu kuokoka. Hata ujaribu kupigana. Na ni lazima uadresi utu wako wa kare. Wivu. Kuna mtu hapa ni wa hasira na wivu. Na uliokoka ili upewe ufurio utu wa kware. Unetua, bra, uh, salvation is a preparation of heaven. Are you together? But, hello, Holy Spirit is upkeep of a good lifestyle. Are you together? Yeah, damu ya Yesu Christo ya tutegenezea utakasa wa kweda biguni. Lakini loho mtakatifu ni wakutukarisha na maisha mazuri ya hapa duniani. It's an up, upkeep ya hapa duniani. Ule mnyonge, upkeep, unaitisha roho siwa kulani watu, siwa kuldaganya, siwa kulani. Ni loho mtakatifu akija dani yako anakusaidia kufua udhaifu wako. 
Du labda, it is a generic. It is a day to die for your lifestyle. Hallelujah. Tulitagenezeo na bishop wetu wakatoa bia ya kuwaba. Kuna watu ambaye wanasema ya, uh, tumetoka katika. Hata kama tumeokoka, tumetoka uruyani. Hata kama tumeokoka, tumetoka ukikuyuni. Mimi nimetoka umasaini. Kwa hivyo, hata kama nimeokoka, nitaenda kukura aligoni. Nitaenda ukukatiwa nyama. Nitaenda utamaduni wetu ukija. Nitafuga chuka. Na nitasema, hoi alaba yangai, hei yala yosho, hei yangai yalo. Hey. Wala ukitoka hapa hata uonge, utakura omena. Na utakaa hivi utaiba. We mkikuyu, mkimona gedheri, utakura. Kwa hivyo, kunae mambo itatufuta. Lakini loho mtakatifu ni upkeep. Ile udhaifu konae unaitisha loho. Haya, kushida kwa wakovu ni nini? Ni wakati umeatempti ume sin. Umeatempt, lakini you, have done, you, you, you overcome it. Umeatempt kufanya mambo. Inside, una change. Iyo diyo kujua, roho wa mugu wanafanya kazi dani yako. Loho wa mugu diya nakufua utu wakare. Ya, yeah, umepatana na marafiki uliokoka juu ya utu wakare mulikuwa walevi. Walevi, kabisa. Na umesema ni miokoka. Ukikaa chini, unabia roho. Huyu ni John. Huyu ni Yomondi. Huyu ni Mwangi. Huyu tukona e. Si kusema kuokoka ni kuchukia. Watu wale wabere. Lakini roho mtakatifu. Nisaidie, nishuhudie. Nitamuambia, wawu. Ni kweli ni kunyue soda. Lakini sasa si kunyui. Umefua utu wa dani wa ulevi. Na umefa utu upia. Ya kuwaba pombe iko hapa na haige mwagwa. Ya kuwaba imemwagwa ukiwa hapo. Umeikata. Yes, we unajua umetoa kwa program is family. Family ya pae. Ata kama ni shemeji. Ata kama ni nini. Uwezi lara hapo. Ata lera tefu. Ata nani. Nilasima umurize. Holo wa yani shoko. Uko aje. Nilasima usubuke usiku. Ata kama ni nera tefu. Ata kama amwezi lara hapo. Lakini utasuguka kitada mara 25. Ukimuabia. Sunajua. Ata Yusufu ni vile alitoroka na jaketi. Kama jaketi ya haigetaku wa nae. Sunajua ageteda. Ama. Hii ni matedo tu. Wewe unajua umetoka, lakini uko hapo, na hiyo mwili, na hiyo hali. Umuabia bona, I am in the generic line. Utu wetu wa kwetu, ni wa Daudi na Sulaimani. Mimi hata kama, roho mtakatifu nisaidia kufua hii. Roho anakufuria utu wa dani. Unajipata, ni kweli uko hapo, lakini umeshidwa kufanya. Na si kushidwa, umekata, juu hiyo mwili umefaa. Si ule wabere ni utumumpia. Hiyo diyo kupima kiwango yako ya kubadilika kama unabadilika for good ama for good. Loho si wakurani watu. Loho hakuja kupeaga kazi. Loho hakuja kufuga. Kufuga mapepo. Loho alikuja diyo tuliachiwa. Tukambio ya kwaba. Tumemuachia loho mutakatifu. Atakuwa msaidizi. Mungu alijua, through the Son Jesus Christ, this mortal body, this mortal body is very weak when it comes to, uh, to fight the worldly things. Mungu alijua, ali, hawezi pigana chuma na chuma. He, me, muliote, the source, origin ni kwa mchanga, origin ni hapa. Unless he part another origin from heaven, hawezi weza kushida. Are you changing for bad or are you changing for good? Ask yourself, in this church, katika maisha ya doa yako, yes, wegine thabi si usherati na wizi, kunae hasira, hathabu. Sikiriza hapo dani, kitabu ya wagaratia, na hii diyo matedo ya mwiri, husuda, hasira, ubaya, Aha. ulevi, fitina, fitina, Faraka. Faraka. Uzushi. Uzushi. Unapata mtu wana kuchuchia. 
uchungu unaangalia mtu anaamka na kuangalia ana uchungu wako ile collection data ile collection data amesikia badala consort ana uchungu wako ana uchungu wa kukula chakula uko nazo ana uchungu wa mwili wako hiyo ni dhambi itahesabiwa mshayati akienda jehanamu we ulio na wivu we ulio na uchungu bado utaenda jehanamu kama muganga ataenda jehanamu kama muwaja ataenda that is uchungu uvi wivu wivu unapata mtu ako na wivu mpaka fadhali ya mwaga chakula apike zote lakini mtu mwingine asikule ana wivu mpaka anatetemeka hiyo ndio utu 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 wa kale huyo ndio utu ule tunakujaga kwa damu hatukujagi kutafuta kazi tunakujaga kushida utu ule umetulemea many people wana burden ya hii mwili the suffering of a human being is the burden of the flesh everybody ana burden ya flesh yake na andres holy spirit um address mwambie ni de uyu mwingi mono mimi hakuna mtu ako na wivu mpaka wewe unajisikilizaga wivu huwezi kula hebu angalia watu wa wivu kuenda hoteli madodo 150 chapati 50 chai 50 wewe toka afadhali tukanunue uga na nini na maziwa tupike na tutakula nyingi hapana si uga na chapati tunanunua esake is a surface utakufa bila kufanyio service wewe ndio utakuwa ukijifanyia service where do you become boss is when you will be attended and be given good service that is why the qualification to be a kama boss hallelujah there is people who does not like to give any services pay the cost to people to service you pray god that people they attend and give you service that is how to become a boss are you changing for good or bad ju kanisa saa hizi mmekosa ku address hii mambo ili tufanye transformation eh tumekataa transformation tusome galatians kitabu cha wagalatia mlango wa tano, mustari wa 19 basi matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri ndio haya usherati uchafu ufisadi hebu tuangalie uchafu mnadhania uchafu ni gani cleanliness is sacred to godliness kuna mtu aliyokoka lakini afadhali ajipie rolon the first responsibility duty that god given man is to become a caretaker in the garden of eden hiyo ndio ina qualify kama Mungu atakuinua the first qualification you see baraka is becoming a caretaker hata kama mtu ametajirika god hapimagi watu na utakatifu anaangalia how care you are anakuangalia tu hiyo ndio kipimo ya mtu hata kama bwana yako is not bother bariki hata kama bibi yako is not bothers itafagia huko fanya kazi unaomoka una kihali ya Mungu tunawalazimisha baraka lakini qualification za Mungu amuja pita So that is why muna adapt. That is why hampati vitu permanent, hambarikiwe na kitu permanent. Munapeo kitu ya kukumaintain siku ya leo. Lakini mukiqualify. Ai, hiyo ingine utapata ni wewe una trade. Na Bible inasema Galatians ya kwaba ya ya kwaba hapa. Ya kwaba jambo moja baya ni ya mwili na itafanya tukose biguni ni uchafu. Ni nini iliagusha Adam ni uchafu. Kukosa kuwa in his line of duty kaziri alikuwa fa answerable akalifaa kwa mtu mwingine kukosa kuwa answerable so juu sasa saa hizi tumeweka Yesu Kristo msalabani na sisi kaziri tumefeo tumekataa ni sisi tumekosa ama ni Mungu are you changing for good or are changing for bad hizo tu vitu tudogo ndio tumefanya tumsifurahishe bwana hizo vitu unaona dogo ndio tutaipa hapa tuibe tuseme wachawi na washerati na waizi di hawata na kuambia utafugiwa mragoni na baraka ya watakatifu utaiona kama we ni mchafu kama we ni wawifu baraka za watakatifu kuna baraka za watakatifu si baraka za waobaji unjue kuna baraka ina tatu kuna baraka za watakatifu na baraka za wacha Mungu na baraka za Mungu sikiliza baraka za Mungu anybody can get it na ndipo unaona kanisa watu wale wameishi kwa Mungu wanapata tu just only one of the blessing baraka ya Mungu kasi kama kawaida kuolewa kama kawaida kawaida ile inapata watu walio hapa lakini upati baraka ya mcha Mungu baraka ya mcha Mungu baraka ya mcha Mungu ni kutumaniwa unatumaniagwa unasikia tumetumwa na Mungu hapa tumetumwa na Mungu hapa uko mgonjwa tumetumwa na Mungu hapa watu wanatoka tukuletee baraka we kuja kuja oh nimeona Mungu ameniogeresha nikubariki 
Mungu ameniogeresha ni bariki mtoto wako. Hiyo ni baraka sa mcha Mungu. Wa Kristo, yet you not be like a wild people. Wanapata tu only one channel baraka ya watu wa Mungu. Baraka ya Mungu, Mungu sahi akihurumia Kenya. Mwenye dhambi, morogi, mwizi, bishopu, mtakatifu, alitoka mlimani, tutapatiwa kitu kinaitwa the general blessing. Are you together? Yeah, the general. Na ndipo unaona, ndipo unaona Yesu alipewa watu general kukutana nao Jerusalem. Hata wale waliosurubisha Yesu, hata wale wali walipiga Yesu, hata wale walimcheka, walipata roho Jerusalem. Lakini baraka za mcha Mungu silimpata Pentecostal wakajaso na roho na dimi. Ninasema uwe mcha Mungu upewe dimi ingine. Si alibasakara dimi kama unaogea mgojwa unasema nimepona. Unapewa ulimi mwingine, si ulimi moja tu ule ulijulikana kwenu. Ulimi tu wa February ndio unaongea Bwana ana dimi zingine aweza pewa cha Mungu. Bwana aweza kubariki na baraka zingine. It's not only the general blessing God can give the blessing to the worshiper and the people who believe in him. Tokeni kubarikia kwa na baraka general. Warogi wachawi wachana wewe obeni tutakuja. Wao well, Beni watakutukuta tu tukigojea sadaka ya wanasiasa. Watatugojea tukiogea. Watu gaya hapa tutawagojea. Watatugojea hapa juu wanajua God Bible inasema watu wangu watakae nyenyekea. Watu wa nani? Si watu wangu watakae si watu wangu gani? Watu wa mchae. Watu wa mchae. Mtu alikataa kazi. Mtu alikataa raha, mtu alikataa mambo mengine, akaamua kumtafuta Mungu, akaitwa mtu wa Mungu. John 1:12 vinasema, alikuja kwa waliokuwa wake, wakamkataa. Alikuja kwa waliokuwa wake, those are general people. Those are the general earth. Those are general people. Wakamkataa wale waliompokea, akawape uwezo wakufanyika wana wake watoto wake sasa watoto wake wamerudi kuwa the general people tunalia hapa tunalia tutagojea na acha na Mungu atatukumbuka yes Mungu ni wa huruma nyingi bana sigojei huruma na gojea ahadi watoto wa Mungu hawagojeagi huruma za Bwana wanagojeaga ahadi haleluya are you going to change? Change for good or are you change for bad? Tigai kuhana na nado a general. There is general blessing. We have promise. Watu wa dunia hawapewi proahidi. Wewe huwezi ahidi mtu wote unaahidiaga watoto wako, wachukue walidhi ama mtu wako wa karibu. Ama you promising. Hawa wengine ni kuongeresha unaongereshaga. Kwa nini kanisa na sisi ndio tunaacha, ndio tunafunga? Hoi ulikataa kubadilika. Unagojea mpaka upigwe ndio rudi laini. Petro akauliza, "Sisi tuliacha kazi yetu." Alituulizia, "Hakurizia the people? Hakurizia the general people?" Yesu akawaambia, "Let me tell you, I promise you. Nitawape uzima wa milele na nitawazidishia mambo mema hapa duniani." Amen. Pigia bwana makovi wewe uliulizie jina. So, hapa kuna watu wagapi wawili nimeongelesha. The general blessing and and a promise blessing. Hiyo ingine the chosen one. Kuna baraka ya waliochaguliwa. The chosen one. Kitabu cha Madhaba Mtakatifu mlango wa 19 mstari wa 27. Ndipo Petro akajibu akamwambia, "Tazama, sisi tumeacha vyote tukakufuata." Aha, sikilizeni. Tutapata. Hebu sikilizeni. Amen. E, kuna watu hawakumfuata ama si kweli? John 1:12 vinasema alikuja kwa wale walikuwa wake wakamkataa wale waliomkubali akawape uwezo ama so the general people wao walimkataa akakuja akashagua wengine wa ahadi ama then that is why we have the people of god and the children of god how are the children walioacha na wakaambia ndio munifuate ninasema uache hii na hii na hii ukapewa ahadi 
ndipo mstari wa 28 uh-huh. Yesu akawaambia Yesu akawajibu Amen Amini nawaambia kwamba Naamini kwamba nyinyi mlionifuata mimi Ninyi mlionifuata mimi katika ulimwengu mpya katika ulimwengu mpya atakapoketi mwana wa Adamu Aha katika kiti cha utukufu wake Aha nyinyi nanyi mtaketi katika viti kumi na viwili mkiwa hukumu kabila kumi na mbili za Israeli you. Amen kabla tu apigia bwana makofi That is why tukifuata Yesu Kristo tunapeagwa madeti ya kuwabia watu nyumbani katika tabia ni juu ya hiyo tulipewa neema ya kuhukumu watu madhe wacha hiyo tabia unafanya dadi wacha hii hata kama unaambia taifa unaambia wacheni hii jo tulipewa neema hii mtaachana naye lakini kama wewe hujaachana waweza kanya mtu kuvuta bagi na wewe unavuta ni wewe waweza kanya mtu asikunya na wewe ndio unauza eh tuogelesheni Ha? Wewe sabia mtu asi asiache hii na wewe ndio uko mbele. Eh hey, kwa nini mmeweka nyamaza hapo? Bwana. Yeah. Si utakuwa na guiltiness. Si hata wewe utajihukumu ndani. Hiyo hukumu ndio inafanya usipate upenyo. So, nataka kutoka leo nyinyi mnyue ni watoto wa ahadi. Na uli abaye ataacha. Atakualify. Hata kuwa kigojea the only maobi ya general prayer. Tena nasema wewe mkutano Mungu aahidi watu wote. Waesabarikiwa hata ukiwa kwa cho, ukiwa barabarani. Ju Bwana alikuahidi. Ju ahadi yako haijulikani wahali pale iko. Si lazima ukutane mkutano wa ijiri. Bwana aesa kukufugulia ju wewe umekaa pahali panapofa. Are you changing for good? Yes. Are you changing for good? Yes. yes. The last chapter Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Amen. Wa Korintho wa pili mlango wa tano mustari wa kumi na saba. Hata imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Ya kale yamepita, tazama yamekuwa mapya. God bless you. Ya kale ni gani? What is your stumbling block? Unajua kila mtu akiokoka kuna kitu kilikuwa kinamsubua. Ama ama kwao kuna kitu kilikuwa inamsubua sana. Kwa nini imerudi? Kwa hivyo ya kale imerudi. Ama Kanisa ile tuko na hatari ni kwa sababu tunahubiria tukiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo badala ya kale iishe ya kale imerudi na imetukuta kwa kanisa That is why Christian brethren are not catch up with the grace Yeah how catch up na grace ile iko ya saa hizi How catch up na Pentecostal why ya, ya kale imerudi ya kale imerudi gani wewe Kwa nini umerudia uchungu kwa nini hasira simerudi na ulikuwa na roho safi? Ulikuwa huku jilipisha. Kwa nini umerudia? Ndio unaona hupelekani na neema. Unaoba sana, unapata kidogo. Na samani ulikuwa unaoba tu mado, tu maombi tudogo, unapata nyingi. Inua mkono wa Biblia Bwana, nimejipata niko out of the line. Nimekuwa wa kutegemea general prayer. Na uliniita. Nipokeage katika neema ya ahadi nirudishe Yesu nirudishe Yesu baba bariki watu wote walio hapa uwape jawabu ya kugeuza moyo uwasaidie siku ya leo bwana wa majeshi ukawapatie gufu na ushidi tenda mema kwa kila mmoja aliyo mahali hapa mfalme Yesu Kristo utageuza moyo wake na utampatia moyo wa kuendelea nyumba yake kumekuwa na hash word kumekuwa na mambo mazito lakini we Bwana utambariki utabadilisha the harsh word my father sita sift every anger every bitterness kutoka siku ya leo kama kuna mtu anatenda dhambi juu ya comfort area Bwana mkoboe mpatie jawabu ya upole katika jina la Yesu Kristo toba na kuamini